Hello VC, what's going on? It's me Will and I'm back with my very first video of uh, 2018 and uh, first of all I hope everybody, everybody had a happy holiday and a happy new year and I just wanted to do a quick video to kind of go through my plans uh, for my channel uh, in this year in 2018 and uh, after that I also wanted to show you a quick unboxing of the newest Ramones uh, box set reissue that I just received in the mail so stay tuned for that uh, but first of all uh, um, I wanted to give you a, a quick update on uh, what I plan to do in my channel for this year and uh, throughout the holidays and through my time off I was kind of going through the YouTube analytics page which is a great tool if you want to find out what the um, what things that work what things that don't work that much uh, because I really wanted to see uh, and this is something that I don't do very often as I should uh, but I want, really wanted to see what people like to see in the in, in the channel uh, compared to other things that they don't like to see that much so so um, for my plan for this year in 2018, uh, I think my focus is going to be to show more records. Uh, I'm still going to be focusing on the new music and a lot of uh, the new indie rock, uh, punk rock and pop punk albums, of course, and rock and roll albums in general. And uh, maybe some haul videos as well. But um, uh, I think the focus this year is going to be more on the records uh, rather than anything else. Um, uh, so yeah, expect that change at least for this year. And, and, and let's, at least I'll see how that works for 2018. And hopefully it's something that you will like. And um, uh, yeah, uh, just to get started with uh, the year, of course, I'm going to show you some records. And this is going to be the newest uh, or the unboxing of the newest three issue from the Ramones. And this is an album that I've been wanting for a while. It came out last year, I think, in... I think it came out in September or October of last year. Uh, I really wanted to get it, but the price was super high when it came out. So I just wanted to wait for a little bit to, the, to, to see if the prices would lower a little bit. And it did. Uh, I went to Amazon and I was able to get it for, I think, $45 or $46. Uh, and I think that was during the Christmas time. I don't know if the price went uh, higher after that. But anyways, I, it's still expensive, but I think it's a pretty good box set. It's one of the, uh, the newest uh, reissues that they've been coming up for the last uh, few months. And they did the same reissue for the first two albums. This is the third one that they've been doing it to the, for the 40th anniversary of the album Rocket to Russia. And yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. And yeah, and uh, if you watch my channel, you know that I'm a huge fan of the Ramones. And I collect pretty much anything that they do, that they come up with. I've been really digging this new reissues in the box set format. They've been looking really good. So I really needed, needed it for my collection. So... Yeah, let's check it out, and here it is. Ramones with Rocket to Russia. And uh, again, if you watch my channel, you know I'm a huge fan, not only of the Ramones, but of this album in particular. This is by far my favorite Ramones album. And it looks great, again, in the box set format. And uh, here it says, uh, Ramones, Rocket to Russia, 40th anniversary deluxe edition. Similar in style of the, as the other ones that came out, uh, came out before this one. And uh, I also have uh, unboxing videos for the other two records, so I'll put a link in the description. And uh, this one comes with four discs, no, uh, actually three discs, uh, three CDs and one LP. The first is the original album with the uh, 40th anniversary tracking mix. The second one is the bonus material, including the Power Station rough mixes and the 40th anniversary extras and the disc 3 on CD comes with the live at the Poloth Center in Glasgow, Scotland from 1977 previously unissued. I am really excited to hear that. I've never he heard that before. Uh, compared to the previous two uh, reissues, uh, that was, um, I think, a live version that was already released before. Uh, this one should be brand new. Uh, as far as I know, I don't think it was released before. Uh, maybe it was in a bootleg, I don't, I don't really know. But I'm really excited about that. And then finally, the LP comes with the 40th anniversary tracking mix of the full album on vinyl, of course. And this one came in on Sire and Rhino Records, also numbered. Right here I got number, oh, I got a, a pretty cool number. I got uh, 1690. <laughs> and I'm not sure how many they pressed out of this ones, but I'm sure you can still get them online. Uh, I'll see if I can put a link here in the description to the Amazon posting. Uh, I got it from Amazon, but I'm sure they will also have it on the uh, on your local record stores and other stores as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, check out the the record. Let's see. And yeah, like I said before, I've always been more partial to this album compared to the uh, the first record from the Ramones or the first two records of the Ramones. 
And I, I know that a lot of people call their first or the self-titled album their best record. Uh, I always disagree with that. Uh, I always thought that this one was way more, uh, way more of a solid album from the Ramones, especially in the way that the whole album flows in the track order and everything. Uh, solid album, great album by the Ramones. It might be actually one of my favorite albums of all time. And there it is in all its glory. Ramones, Rocket to Russia. And uh, very similar in style as far as the packaging uh, as the previous two releases that came out um, in, in last year with the three CDs in one side and then you get this kind of like a sleeve with the... Wow, that's a really awesome picture of the, of the Ramones playing live. Johnny, Joey, Didi and Tommy, great picture of the band. And then uh, in this side you get, of course, the sleeve with the booklet checking that out and of course the record itself yeah, let's go ahead and check out the booklet here it is Ramones Rocket to Russia again similar in uh, uh, artwork as the previous uh, two releases that they did for the reissues of the first uh, two albums with uh, kind of like the pink the pink font in the Ramones logo logo uh, awesome picture there uh, you can really see the intensity in uh, Joy and Johnny Ramones face Love that picture. And this should come with some commentary about the recording of the album. And uh, I'm not sure who wrote this commentary. I'm sure it will say somewhere around here, but um, I'll find out about that. I'll put it in the, in the comments. Another cool picture of the, the, the guys from New York. Um, let's see what else comes in here. So a really long write-up with lots of pictures. It's another picture of there of uh, Didi playing the bass. And this one was actually written by Ed Station, the engineer and mixer of the album. It's right here. Love the big pictures of the, the band. Some of them I haven't seen them before. That's another cool picture of the band. I'm not sure who else is there. Uh, Seymour, Seymour Stein, I think. Yeah, Seymour Stein, Elton John, Linda Stein, and uh, the band. Awesome picture. Really cool picture of the, the guys there. And then the final page has the, all the, the track list and the credits. Uh, There's one more picture, actually, with the band playing live. I hope this is from the show in Glasgow. Not sure, it doesn't say, but it has more credits and an awesome picture of the band. And at the end, the classic Rocket to Russia artwork from the, the album. Alright, let's see the record itself. Uh, this one should come just in regular uh, black vinyl with the Sire record labels. As classic as in the, all the Ramones, the first uh, four or five Ramones album coming on Sire. Um, I'm thinking that they're gonna do the, the same thing for the next few albums, or at least for all the albums on uh, Sire Records. I'm not sure if they will do the same thing for the later albums that came in and on the other record labels, but it will be really exciting to see in the next few years what they come up with for the Ramones reissues. And that's it uh, as far as uh, the vinyl. Uh, here's the CDs in case you're curious to how the CDs look. They all look the same with the side record the labels and uh, the track list in there, so fairly simple. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I can't comment on this one yet because I haven't listened to this one, of, of course, but uh, I will put something in the comments to say uh, if uh, the sound sounds good or, or if there's any issues with the sound itself, but I'm sure it's going to be great. I have, I have the other two releases uh, from the, that came out last year, and they both of them sound awesome, including the CDs, the LP, every sounds, everything sounds great. I would have been very happy with the newest reissues that they have come up in, in this format. Uh, so I really look forward to listening to this one. Again, one of my favorite albums of all time, in, in my opinion. And I'm, I may be uh, of a different kind of, kind of uh, thought from everybody else, but this is the best album by the Ramones. So I really look forward to spinning this one again. And uh, that's it, VC. Uh, that's all I have for you today. I really look forward for um, another year in the VC. Uh, thanks again for watching and for all your comments. And take care. Bye-bye.